All right, let's dive into it. Domain expansions in Jujutsu Kaisen are hands down, the flashiest, most jaw-dropping abilities in the series. But which domain reigns supreme, and which one is kind of just there? Today, we're breaking down all 13 domains to figure out which one claims the top spot. Here's the criteria I use to rank them. Let's get into it. Starting at the bottom, in last place, we have Chimera Shadow Garden. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad domain. There's no such thing in Jujutsu Kaisen. But compared to the others, Chimera Shadow Garden doesn't offer as much raw power. This domain lets its user flood an area with shadows, summoning Shikigami without hand signs, which sounds versatile, but it just doesn't amp up Megumi's strength as much as other domains enhance their users. Plus, it's incomplete. It has to rely on natural surroundings as walls, meaning it doesn't even have a true barrier. In the hands of someone more experienced, it could have been insanely broken, but as it stands, it's just not quite there yet. Next up in 12th place is a horizon of the captivating Skandhan from Dagon. This one might look cool, summoning a swarm of invisible Shikigami that latch onto their target. It's effective, but not overly strong for a domain. Sure, it did some lasting damage to Nanami and Naobito, but the effects can be reversed with a good healing curse. For a special grade curse, this is pretty tame, especially when you consider other domains that can just one-shot their opponents. Coming in at 11th place is the Smallpox Deities Domain. This one's a tough call because it could have gone either way with Dagon's domain, but here's the deal. While Dagon's domain is good for crowd control, the smallpox deity's domain is perfect for one-on-one -on -one battles. The deity traps its target in a box, and if they don't escape by the count of three, they're done. It's deadly in a duel, but lacks versatility when faced with multiple opponents. So, it's got a unique edge, but it's not the best of the best. At number 10, we've got Idle Death Gambit. You'd think something granting its user unlimited cursed energy would be higher on the list, but here's the catch. It doesn't boost Hikari's offensive abilities all that much. The real strength here is the near immortality Hikari gets through automatic reverse curse techniques, healing him faster than almost anyone else. But it only lasts for a little over 4 minutes, so in longer battles, that's a serious limitation. Moving on to number 9, we have Threefold Affliction. This domain basically guarantees that all of Arami's constructs hit their mark, which is powerful, especially with the perfect sphere construct that exerts infinite pressure. But we only saw it clash with Sukuna, so it didn't exactly get a chance to shine. That said, it's still a force to be reckoned with against anyone weaker. In eighth place is Womb Profusion. Kenjaku's Domain. It's weird because on one hand, it doesn't deal massive damage, it just increases gravity in the area, but Kenjaku is an expert with barriers, so this domain can strip away anti-domain techniques quickly, making it harder for others to counter. This one's tricky to rank because we haven't seen much of it, but it's got potential. For 7th place, Deadly Sentencing comes in strong. This is Higuruma's Domain, and it's surprisingly effective. His Judge, Judgman, decides the fate of his opponent, debuffing them by taking away their cursed technique or energy if they're guilty. And if their crime warrants it, Higuruma gets a one-hit kill sword. It's an amazing ability, but the need for evidence limits its flexibility, putting it just a bit lower on the list. At 6th, the Coffin of the Iron Mountain, Jogo's Domain. According to Gojo, this domain could roast a sorcerer in seconds. And while we didn't see it much in action, the intense heat inside this domain makes it one of the deadliest straightforward domains out there. It's simple, but devastating, earning it a solid spot on the list. Taking 5th place is a Time Cell Moon Palace. Karoi's Domain. This one's all about immobilizing opponents by freezing their cells at 24 frames per second. It's not instantly lethal, but incredibly effective for taking down opponents who can't handle the technique. It's a broken domain against anyone without a way to counter it. For fourth place, to self-embodiment of perfection by Mahito. This domain enhances Mahito's idle transfiguration, making it an almost guaranteed one-shot against most sorcerers. Damaging the soul directly is no joke, and it's an auto hit for anyone within the barrier. Mahito can eliminate anyone he wants inside this domain, which is terrifying. And now, at third, we have Mutual Authentic Love from Utah. 
What makes this domain wild is that Yuta can copy techniques, using any of them as a guaranteed hit inside his barrier. It's like having an endless arsenal at his disposal, with each technique powered by his insane cursed energy. But while it's versatile, it doesn't quite match the top two. Finally, the big showdown, Malevolent Shrine versus Unlimited Void. Malevolent Shrine's constant slashes are devastating, and it's the only barrierless domain, allowing it to cover a massive range. But Unlimited Void? It just takes the cake. Its mind-melting effect completely immobilizes opponents, leaving them as sitting ducks. Even Sukuna couldn't resist its effect. This domain is just that overpowering. So there you have it. Unlimited Void claims the throne as the best domain expansion in Jujutsu Kaisen. Let me know if you agree or if you're all about Malevolent Shrine.